This is Neil Sison, the professional in pajamas, also known as accountant in pajamas. And today we are here in Phil Taxes. Uh, this is a publication by Sison Corillo Paroni and Company. This day we will be discussing a very important uh, topic, which is actually part of the train law. Uh, this is all about what we call as state tax. And we have a guest now from uh, Sison Corillo Paroni and Company. Uh, we have a guest in the name of Josephine Joy Magno. Yeah, good, mo good, good day, Miss Joy. Good day, good day. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very, very good topic because it's very timely. On one hand, there are a lot of rich people, you know, you will see in the newspapers who died just recently. Yes. And uh, we are actually asking, what is the effect of the new train law on the people who just recently died? Uh, the rich people. Okay, so maybe can you state to us uh, what is the major change, or what is uh, maybe we can start with the definition of estate tax. What is estate tax? Estate tax is a tax on the estate or the properties of the deceased. Oh, which means when someone dies, yes, and then they left some properties, real properties and cash, okay. or they are subject to estate tax. They are subject to state tax. Wala ka wala. <laughs> when we are born, we yes. die, we need to pay tax. So anyway, state tax is when the person dies and then the state, which means the, the remaining uh, properties, including the, 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 the relatives or the uh, ears, is the the ears of the should pay the state tax. Okay. What is the major change from the old law and the new law? The major change is the rate, tax rate. Before, uh, before under the old law, if the net estate is 200,000, it is based on graduated rates from between 5% to 20%. Which means if the net estate is more than 200,000, it is already subject to 20% tax. Yes. Yes. Wow, it's very high. Yes. Oh, but this time, how much? What's the now rate? it is subject to a flat rate of six percent. Six percent? Yes. From from the original of twenty percent to six yes. percent. Yes. Wow. You know, the rich people who just recently died will how you know benefited from this deal. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you share to us how the state tax is computed? First of all, uh, estate tax is composed, you compute first all the real properties based on the fair market value. Okay. Uh -uh. Fair market value is can be taken from the zonal value from the PIR okay. and the market value as declared in the tax declaration. Okay. Uh, and this can also be taken about the fair market value, the selling price of the property? Yes. Uh, which, whichever is lower or whichever, whichever is, is higher? Whichever higher. is higher. Okay, so take note that uh, the, the rule is whichever is higher. Yes. The zonal value, the value as per tax declaration, or the fair market value in the market. Yes. Okay, okay. and then uh, apart when you, when, the, when it is already computed, the properties of the disease, what is the next step? The next step is you. there are allowable deductions okay. from the gross estate. This includes the standard deduction, okay. claims against the estate, okay. the family home. Um, the, the family home, so yes. three main components. Three main components. So what is the difference between the old law and the new law uh, I mean in relation to the deductions? Under the old law, the standard deduction is only up to one million. Okay. But un under the train law, it was increased to five million. Wow, which yes. means uh, still from within five million that can be deducted from the gross estate. Yes, without any documents or substantiation. Wow. Okay. What else? Another thing is the family home. Okay. Uh, this is the residence or the dwelling of the deceased of the family. Okay. Before, the allowable deduction is 1 million. Now, okay. it was increased to 10 million. Wow! Yes. Which means 5 million earlier plus 10 million. Yeah. 
even if I have a net estate or uh, a gross estate of 15 million, yes, I will still not pay any tax. Yes, correct. Wow. Okay, so that's the main difference. <laughs> yes, Is there any difference of the allowable deduction other the, the, the other expenses? Uh, and also, uh, before under the old law, medical expenses, funeral expenses, and legal expenses can be deducted okay. with supporting documents. Okay. Now, none. 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 Because, it, because of the standard deduction which was increased to five million. Okay, so the only allowed expenses right now is just the standard deduction of five Thank million you. and then the family home, which is the ten million. million. Yes. Well, what are yeah, that's very nice. What are the other uh, areas that or any amounts that can be deducted from the from the gross estate? Uh, the, also the claims against the estate can be deducted. Okay. Uh, can you give us an example of the claims? Uh, this pertains to real property tax if they own real properties not okay. yet paid. Also, if they have existing loans so with which, the bank. Okay, uh -huh. which means the property is valued at 50 million and then it has a loan of about 10 million. Yes. The 10 million should also be deducted. Yes. Okay, that's good. So these are the three items which are, are allowable yes. as under deduction. Okay, that's very nice. So, for a simple summary about the of the computations, if the gross estate is, for example, 50 million, we can deduct the 5 million standard deduction without any documents. Yes. And then we can deduct the 10 million family home. And then if there is a loan of 10 million, we can still deduct 10 million. So, the total deduction now is 25 million. So, 50 million, Minus 25 million the is the net estate. The net okay. estate. Subject to 6%. 6%. So 20, uh, 50 million minus 25, 25 million is equal to 25 million my, multiplied by 6%. 6 okay, that is now the tax that I will pay. Yes. Okay. I think that's very clear already. So it's, uh, the, the computation is pretty uh, straightforward now, much, much, you know. Uh, better or simpler oh, than the previous thing. law. Now, is there a deadline when it, when it, it should be filed within a number of months? Uh, first of all, before under the old law, there is a notice of death yes. that should be filed with DIR. Now, it was repealed by un under the train law. Wow, so th there is no more requirement yes. because the deceased or the dead person can no longer notify. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice, this is a nice interpretation. Okay, what else? Under the old law, the time of filing of the estate tax is within six months from the date of the de deceased, the oh, said, uh, okay. deceased. Now it, it is within one year from the date of death. Oh, one year from the, the date, date of death. death. And there is no notice and it should be within one, one year. year. What happens now if it is after one year? If it's after one year, it will be subject to penalties. Penalties, yes. okay. And the penalties, how many percent? Now it's 25% surcharge and 12% interest. So, so, interest. The interest. so there will be an additional more or less of 37%. Yes. Uh -huh. So. Uh, for the information of our listeners, those who will not file within, you know, one year, you will be paying an additional of minimum of 25% plus additional 12%, which is subject to a one-year period, which is uh, to file that uh, uh, state tax. Yes. Okay. What else? Do you have any other uh, comments that you want to say? Uh, also, if the deceased has uh, cash deposit in banks, okay. mm -hmm. under the old law, the heirs can only withdraw up to 20,000 pesos. Okay. Uh, but now, under the drain law, within one year mm -hmm. from the date of death, the heirs can withdraw all the amount, the full amount, provided that they pay the 6% final withholding tax. Wow. Yes. When the, when, when the person is already dead, the bank will freeze the account, right? Yes. Okay. 
And uh, I, I would like to go back to the earlier, the family home of mm -hmm. 10 million. Okay. Now, how about if the standard deduction is 10 million, but the, the, the value of the property is only about 3 million? Ah. Can I still claim the 10 million? No, it should be 3 million. The maximum is only 10 million. The maximum is only 10 oh. million. So even if the property is 3 million, the fair market, the fair market value is 3 million, mm -hmm. yes. I cannot claim the 10 million. Yes. The maximum. Okay, that should be taken note yes. uh, by the by the uh, our listeners that uh, we can only claim to the extent of the fair market value of the of the yes. family home. Now, uh, to make the story short, uh, it, the deductions can still reduce. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So you should stay for you to claim the 10 million family home deduction. I think you should build a house. And you know, a buy a property which is more than ten million. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no wants to be, yeah. no wants to die, no wants to, yeah. to be dead, <laughs> and they, we want to enjoy as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when is this uh, law effective? effective? This is effective January one, twenty eighteen. Effective January one, twenty eighteen. So, so the tycoons who died just recently this year, yes. they're already yes. entitled. Yes. And they save about more or less 14%. Yes, correct. Wow. The government might have lost so much on those, <laughs> on those uh, state, on those taxpayers. Anyway, do you want to add any other information about uh, the state tax? Okay. Under the old law, if the gross estate of the decedent is 2 million, Okay. It requires a CPA certification, mm -hmm. which indicates this, the itemized as uh, itemized assets and deductions of the estate. Okay. Uh, or okay. Under the new law. Under the new law, it was increased to five million. Five million. No, which right. means if 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 someone dies, and the total value of the state is more than five million, they should hire an accountant or yes. a certified public accountant. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, to determine how much is the value, how much is the expenses, and how much is the, you know, tax computation. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very nice. At least now, for the information of all our listeners or who are watching this video. Do you have other issues that you want to share with us? Uh, if the amount of estate tax is very huge, you can ask the BAR to pay it within two years. Within two, two years. years from the date of death, provided you seek approval from the BAR. From the BAR. So, <coughs> what will happen if uh, uh, if the decedent will file uh, or will not ask for uh, an installment? We will just pay it one time. Within, yes, yes, they should, they will pay it one time, within one year. Within one year. So if someone died June 30, they should file June 29, the yes. following year. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so more or less, if they will maximize the time, mm -hmm. two years, uh, one year, plus the additional two years to pay, yes. or only installment with the VAR, they have a total of three years. Three years, yes. <coughs> That's very nice. I think that's very clear. And you have yeah. other something to add? That's all. Yeah. That's all. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Miss Joy, uh, for you know joining us today. And I hope that you will join us more in in the days to come and in the weeks to come because this is a weekly tax update by Field Taxes. Uh, again, Miss Joy Magno is our partner, tax partner in Season Kurigi Paroni and Company, who is the one publishing these uh, 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 Field Taxes. Again, this is Neil Season. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the topic. And if you have some questions, just uh, email us or ask, ask us in Facebook. We normally reply. Thank you very much and good day.